In this video, we're looking at the distributive law. So the distributive law states that you can multiply a number by splitting it into the sum, which is addition, or the difference, subtraction, of two other numbers. It's a very useful tool when you come across some really complicated uh, multiplications. So for example, I'm gonna write up a, a multiplication here. So we have 17 times 12, okay? So what we could do there is we could break one of these numbers up. So the number I'm gonna focus on breaking up today is our 12. So I could break the 12 up into 10 and two, all right? So what that means is I can get 17 times 10 plus 17 times two, because these are smaller numbers and they're a little bit, little bit easier to do uh, solve mentally. So what I could do now is I go, well, 17 times 10, where well, the trick for times 10 is we just add a zero on. So if I add the zero there, and then we go 17 times two, and the trick for that is we just double the 17. So we end up with 34. And now I can just add these together and I end up with 204, okay? So that is an example. And what we've done is that 12 has broken up into 10 and into two. Now I could do it again. There's a different way I could have do it. So let's look at our 17 times 12 again. This time I could break up my 17 into let's say 10 and seven. So I end up with 10 times 12 plus seven times 12. Now, some of you may be like, oh, well, seven times 12, I'm not really sure if I know how to do that. Well, let's break that up again. So we could write 10 times 12 here. And this time we're gonna look at breaking up our seven. So if I break that seven up, I could get five times 12 and I could get two times 12. All right, so what I've done there is I've broken it up even further. So then we can start to solve these things. 120 because you just add a zero on. Remember the trick for times in by fives is it's half of 10 times 12. So if we know 10 times 12 is 120, I can just half that to get uh, 60. And then uh, two times 12 is 24. So what I can do now is just add each of these parts together. So I could go with 180 plus 24 and then that equals 204. So as you can see, we're breaking them up to make it easier each time. Now, there's another way to do this. It's what we like to call the area method. So if I have a shape such as this, and I can write my multiplication, so I can have 17 up here, and I can tw have 12 over here. So what I could do here is break my square, my rectangle up into its parts. So what I could do is go 10 and two. So as you see, there's a 10 and two. So this top rectangle is gonna be 10 times 17, which is 170. This bottom rectangle is gonna be two times 17, which is 34. And then I could say that the total area there is just those two things added together, so 204. All right, so that's the area method. Sometimes it's good if you're more of a visual learner, that can really be useful. And again, you could break it up in multiple different ways. If you wanted to break the 17 up, you could have uh, vertical lines going down to make it easier.